Hi and welcome back. In the last two videos I explained how you can get free access to SAP S4HANA 1709 and also how to get free access to SAP Fury. In the video today I'm going to navigate through SAP Fury. I will show you some examples on transactions and some examples on reports and I will also show you some settings for the users. How can we start SAP Fury? There are three options. You can use the URL in any web browser. You can also save the URL in your SAP GUI in the favorites. And you can also go to SAP Fury from GUI by typing slash n slash UI2 slash FLP. So UI2 is user interface second generation and FLP is Fury Launchpad. Hit enter. So this is my default web browser and this is SAP Fury. I am going to log in with the user for the financial accountant S4H underscore FIN and the password is welcome one. So again, all the usernames and the passwords and the data that I'm going to use in this demo are available in this PDF that is shared by SAP. This is the SAP S4HANA 1709 demo guide. I'm going to leave the link in the description. I have already done this before. I'm going to leave it again in this video. So be sure to check this PDF. Now the username and the password and then click on login. This is my user's homepage or the Fury Launchpad. And these are the transactions I can use. They are similar to the transactions in SAP GUI. In SAP Fury, they are called tiles. So each tile is included in a tile group. These are the tile groups. If you would like to see the groups assigned to your account, you can click on this arrow. These are all the groups assigned to your account. Each account will have different rules, different tiles, different transactions, and different tile groups, depending on the authorization given to this user. If you click on any group, you can see the transactions or the, or the tiles included. Now, if you would like to search for anything, anything, you can click on this button. So this is a very good function, SAP Fury. You can actually search for anything. You can search for customer names, supplier names, transactions, document numbers, anything. So for example, if I say the word Germany and click on this, SAP Fury is going to get all the results that include the word Germany in everything, in suppliers, customers, jail accounts, banks. So here we have all, we have customers, we have suppliers, jail accounts, house banks. This is, for example, if we go to customers, this is a customer that has the country Germany. If you go to suppliers, this is a supplier that has the country set as Germany. And if you go to GL account, you are going to find a GL account that has the word Germany in the name. So this is a very useful function that is actually not available in SAP GUI. And this is one of the reasons I like SAP Fury. Now let's go back to the home page. You can also click on this to see all the transactions assigned to your account. So if you click on any group, you are going to find the transactions here. If you click here, you are going to find the user settings and the user profile. So this is the username. This is to sign out. You have also the app finder that you can use to find any transaction you're looking for. And then there are the settings. This is the user profile, username and the server. Appearance, you can select different themes for SAP Fury. I'm going to go with the red one, so click on the red. Then display settings animation full so this is actually a very useful thing if you are suffering from slow performance when scrolling down in the home page you can make this minimal and you can try to see the difference it, it has no impact on the functionality of the sap fury it is only how things move when you scroll down in the home page or in the launch pad uh, then if you go to home page you are going to find the home page display show all content or show one group at a time this is also very useful if you have slow performance in the home page. So if you click and show one group at a time, it's going to be much faster than showing all the content. Then you can also modify the language and the region. And also you have the default values. So these are the values that appear by default when you start a new transaction. 
So for example, if you usually work with the controlling area A000, you can save it here. Then whenever you start a new transaction that has the controlling area, it will come by default as A000 until you change it. The same goes for everything. So you can put cost centers, cost elements, anything. And this is very helpful if you are someone who runs a lot of transactions on daily basis. Now I'm going to click on save. So SAP Fury turned to the red color and also it is only showing one tile group at a time now. To see the other tiles, you have to go to the other groups. Most of the applications here are transactional applications. They are used to process a transaction, such as posting a payment or posting an invoice. If you check another user, such as the financial administration, you are going to find a lot of analytics and reports. Now I'm going to start a new window so we can check the other user. And I'm going to use the same link. And the one I'm going to use is S4H underscore FIN underscore DAM. You can also find it in the PDF. And the password is welcome one. Now click on login. So now I have two users open. One of them is for the financial accountant and the other is for the financial management. As you see, the tile groups and the tiles are different between the two users because they have different rules and different authorizations. Now to check this financial manager, for example, this one, days of sales outstanding, 272, and it was refreshed 20 minutes ago. So these are dynamic tiles. Dynamic means that the tile would change based on the results of the report. The transactional tiles that you can see here, these are static tiles, so the tile would always look the same. Now let's go back to this uh, report. It's going to open the transaction. You can display this report by period. You can also display it by customer. You can display it by company code. So for example, if you go to customer, these are the top 10 customers in days of sales outstanding in the last 12 months. You can also go to company code. These are the company codes. You can also go to a higher level of detail. If you click on open in, you can start other transactions like display customer balances, process receivables, manage customer line items. So I'm going to click on display customer balances. These are the customer balances in company code 1710 in fiscal year 2018. If you click on this, for example, it is going to show you all the financial documents or the line items that summed up to this number, which is a very high level of detail. You can also click on this number to see the actual financial document and the attachments and everything. So I'm going to switch back to the financial accounting user and I'm going to try to upload some financial entries. So I'm going to click here, upload entries. So this is the application or the transaction, upload general journal entries. So this application is used to upload general journal entries. In SAP Fury, it is very easy. All you have to do is to start the application. Then you can download the template from here. And you can download it in different languages. So I'm going to download this one. And this is the template. So if you would like to try this template, you can find the numbers in the PDF. So if you check the index, here we have accounting and financial clues in page 172. So 172. If you scroll down, you have upload general journal entries. And then there is an example with the GL account numbers and everything that you can use to try this transaction. I already have the file ready, so I'm going to use it. So I'm going to close this one. So this is the one I have already prepared and I'm going to use it now. So go back to the transaction, click on browse, select the file. Now all you have to do is to click on post. And this is it. You have uploaded the financial entries. So this is something that's not as easy to do in the SAP GUI. And this is one of the reasons I think Fury is a really good interface. This is enough for today's video. I will see you again next week. If you are interested, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the Facebook page so you can see the updates. Thank you for watching.